Welcome back. This is Back Nine Round One feature card coverage of the Butler County Disc Golf Classic here in the Cranberry Township outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm Luke Humphreys. Joining me again is Maria Oliva. How are we doing? Doing good. Happy to be here and watch these ladies play this course. Straight up. This place is a wooded monster course. Lisa Fake is leading the way, leaning on her putting thus far. It's been fantastic. We see your name on that list. We see the current world champion on that list. We see a bunch of holes that need to be played before we can figure out anything that's happening in the score. Yeah, and a lot of the ones coming up are some of the toughest on the course. So, yeah, the fight is not done. Nope. Many trees to miss here. The line that drove the drone, excuse me, just drove down is five feet wide. That's your widest gap headed into that green for your second shot. So ladies looking to get some distance and make that a shorter approach. Yeah, the gap that Lisa just hit is really the one that you're aiming at. You want to Anheuser out of it and really, like you said, get as close as you can to all these trees because every single one of them is about five feet apart. It's crazy. But this lady right here loves it at home in the woods. Yeah, I'm sure she wanted that to flip a little more. Uh, being up on the left side isn't the worst, but as you can see, there's a little line of trees right there that really gets tricky if you're behind those. Yep. This is really what you want to see. Oh, yeah. Not as far up there, but that was definitely the line you want. Oh, that was an attacking throw from Kristen. I wonder, can you get up to the green? What's the closest you've been in practice? It's, it's um, 434. No. But, okay. No. Um, I think if you're throwing a driver off the tee, you can get to about right here. Um, and you'd probably have a circle two putt maybe but okay. that's a incredible Smash. shot yeah missing a bunch of trees okay yeah Kristen getting herself to about 80 90 feet it looked like it was wow and she got through everything and she's gonna have an open look at the basket okay you'll take that anytime yeah. on hole 10 gap right away Beautiful shot by Holly. Unfortunately, oh. doesn't miss all the trees. She threw that thing down a three-foot lane. Yeah. Still really impressive. All right. Lisa with the best drive. Looking like she's going left. Looking to get a skip back. Wow. Crazy shot from Lisa. Honestly, the smartest shot. She said, what trees? And went all yeah. the way to the left side. Yeah, played that ground perfectly, too. Probably played the only skip out here. Could be. Another gap right away for Holly. Amazing. She'll take her par. Okay. So this is uh, just inside circle two for Kristen. Ooh. Oh. Very nice soft bid. Just a little left for Michelle. They didn't put quite enough spin on that one. There you go, Lisa. Beautiful birdie. Wow. Grabbing another one. Getting to five under par. Yeah, and this birdie feels like an eagle almost just because that second shot is so technical. Mm. If you pull it off, you earn that birdie. Lisa picking up a stroke on the card, pushing her lead to two strokes now. You know, in 2020, we saw her get to the Pro Tour finale at Hornet's Nest. Very wooded course in the Charlotte area. She played fantastic that whole week, leaning on her putting and gap hitting. Headed into the par 5 11th, Maria. Yeah, this hole is really tricky as well. Um, you have... A small gap to hit for your drive and a lot of trees in that second shot. Um, also, 
uphill the last half of the hole. So you're really trying hard to get as much distance while also shaping your shot up there. Definitely a tough par and an even tougher birdie. Yeah, it's cool that you can have such difficult holes on a 672 foot layout. Yeah. Yeah, the that, elevation just makes it play so much differently. It's like a ski slope for yeah. the second half. I bet you could sled down that thing in like <laughs> a month. Yeah, and there's two main routes on this hole. The route that Holly took is the Heiser shot. You can't get a lot of distance from going that route, but it's definitely the easier gap in my opinion. Looks like she may have missed her gap a little bit, but full flights it. She's right up there with those other ladies. Kristen going to the side hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's a great landing zone. Um, you want to be on the right side of this hole because the bigger openings mm. are there. You, you can trickle out to the left because that's kind of what this hole wants you to do with how it's sloped. But, um, yeah, the easier route is on the right side. Yeah, once you go down the hill left, getting back up the hill to the green just becomes an even more difficult task. I'm surprised Lisa opted to go more on the middle for her second shot, but she got a lot of distance, and that's really all you're trying to do on this hole. Get that forward progress. Yeah. Just like this. That was great. Oh, yeah. That was a great shot for Holly. Getting way up there. Kristen's forehand for this tee shot. It's crazy how much power she's got on that thing. Looks like she's throwing her signature grace. Not many skips to be had out in this no, fairway. But forward progress and it was online. Yeah. Maybe a little low for what she yeah, was wanting. For sure. All right. Now we're heading back up to this green. It looks so far away in the picture. Yeah, this hole's crazy because where they're all at right now. It's it slopes down from the tee, and then you slope right back up to the green. So a lot of elevation change in just one hole. Boom. All right. It's probably going to be a little outside the circle and uphill, which makes it longer. But it's, again, it's Lisa's also, well, she's very good at putting. Yeah. It's also dangerous, though. Yeah. Any of that rock stuff just turns your disc into a roller. Good shot from Kristen. She's up there for a putt as well. Holly got this second shot way up here. Let's see what she can do with it. Oh, just low out the hand. Yeah, and that's just the only mistake you can make on that third or fourth shot yep. on this hole. It's just don't throw it low. Oh, that's... A fortuitous little kick right there. Little tree love. Right next to Holly. <laughs> Looks like they're having some fun out there. Hiking these hills. So. Yeah, it's important to keep it light out here just because the course is a little unforgiving at times. You kind of have to just take it and laugh at yourself a little bit. Yeah. When you do hit those first available. <laughs> Downright unfair. Oh. She's online with those putter shots. Yeah. She probably got a basket in the backyard, if I had to guess. Oh, yeah. I can usually call those people. <laughs> Just very basket conscious, very <laughs> chain aware. It's like Greg Barsby or Matt Bell, you know? There's just like... Yeah. You know those people that baskets are scared when they're around. <laughs> just a little low and right from Kristen, but... Again, tough par, even tougher birdie for this hole. Holly for her par. Nice hole. Look like great concentration out of her. Oh, 
There we go. Par for Lisa as well. got a, a very elevated putt she tends to pitch it up and let it yeah. kind of come back down and that's a little tricky for a putt like that but well yeah especially when you have a, a wall like that in front of you and you come down so your legs are low. probably burning mm -hmm. a bunch of factors that we're not mentioning right now <laughs> yeah and this hole whew, very tricky um a lot of the laced shots i've seen on it go really far past because of how sloped it is but you definitely want to get as close to the basket as you can on this because if you hit Stop. early, it's just not not fun. <laughs> oh my goodness! And yeah, like Lisa just you know laced her drive, but yeah. doesn't quite have a look at the birdie because of how low an elevation downhill. it is. Yeah, you basically want to hit the gap like as soft as you possibly can. Yes, which is hard to do. It's much easier to throw at a gap with, you know, a semi-full shot, but to throw a touchy shot through a gap is yeah. very difficult. I like this standstill forehand. That's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Slide up Perfect. There. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if you have that, that's definitely the shot. Um, yeah, another that. shot I like on this hole is throwing it as close to the ground as possible and just letting it slide down to the basket. Yeah, you know it's going to. Yeah, it's definitely just not not what you want on any of these holes. It's so tough to maneuver around all the trees if you hit first available off the tee. Ooh. This looks great. Okay, it stopped. That should be up and down for yeah. her. This is tricky right here, though. Very touchy. Yeah, on this hole, any shot that hits any early trees, you're going to have to get super creative on that second shot. Wow. Just impossible to slow that thing down in time. Yeah, ground play is crucial on this hole. Sit. Sit. Yeah. Man. Yeah, you, got, you have to hit even, so soft on this yeah, hole. Yeah, and even though it's a small thing, if she would have put more Anheuser on that disc and let it meet the ground just a little flatter... It's hard yeah. to say if it would have done the same thing or not, but you're just giving yourself a better chance. Yeah, just you can't really have the disc land any other angle than flat on no. these sloped greens because yeah. it catches one edge and it's it's going to be sad. Yeah, everybody but Kristen's down in these bushes. Yeah. Ooh, Lisa wow. running it. Love that. She's been very good from this range thus far. Just a little wrist pop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she grabs a little flag tickle. So good. There we go. Unfortunately, back to back doubles for Michelle. And Kristen finally getting to putt. I had to be real time 10 to 15 minutes between when she threw that drive and when she putted. Yeah. Yeah, this hole's either a birdie or an unfortunate four yeah. or five. Yeah. All right, hole 13, par three, 239 feet. Another shorty. This one's, I mean, on the simpler side, you it's just straight. You want to get your putter or mid and just throw a straight shot at it and not go past because it's a huge drop off on the back. Stand still forehand, little Anheuser out of the hand, flexes back. Beautiful. Perfectly done. She's been good from that range all day, about 20 feet away. See if Lisa can match that. She is the leader at this point, five under par. Mm. 
Ooh, nice kick for Lisa. You definitely don't want to hyze her out because the left side uh, drops a lot and yep. it's just not forgiving. Yep. Flip that thing to flat. Don't let it fade out. Some Mako from Holly, it looks like. Just tugged it over a little bit. The only shot that's going to get you to the basket is dead straight or a forehand like Kristen showed us on that yeah. left side. Ooh. Oh, no. It looked good for a second, but this thing is cruising down the hill. Ooh, good nice stop. little tree hit. Yeah, I wonder if uh, Holly was thinking about hole nine. I think she threw that Mako last on that hole, and it really didn't flip over as much as she was playing it to, and so she kind of forced yeah, it right maybe. there. maybe. Ooh, great bid wow. from Holly. Strong bid from Holly. That She's was got very uphill. Still power for days. Yeah. This should be just a layup from Lisa. Yeah, and that's smart. Um, you don't want when you're that Lisa. far. It's really treacherous to just go for that putt because of the drop off behind it. Yeah, it's like a five, ten percenter, you know? Yeah, and on this hole, you just want to get your three if you're not yeah. absolutely parked. That's that's the way it is on this course a lot. Yeah. All right, here we go. Tie for the lead if she can make this putt. No problem. It's like the, the way that she plays it with the standstill forehand, it's just like an up hit. Upshot hole. Yeah. Great putt from Lisa. Nice tempo. Couple of tap ins for Holly and Michelle. Michelle getting back on that par train. Yeah, and this hole is definitely a must get. Um, does not feel good to get anything other than a two on it because of how short it is, especially with hole 14 coming up right afterwards. Uh, it's a par four, but it plays really difficult because on the drive, there's not a straightforward gap that you have to hit. And so you really, you have a hard time on the second shot because you're not quite sure where you're going to end up every time. Yeah. It's a semi-blind second shot as well, That the basket being way yeah. up the hill. And Christian's shot right there looked really nice and even still just nicked barely and shot straight down. Looks like Lisa's going way different route. Yeah, I saw a couple people hit a, mm. a right side hyzer gap that I didn't see. It's... Definitely a little sketchy, but honestly, I think any drive on this hole is going to be. Full flight on this hole would be fantastic. Holly? Yeah, this is perfect. Again, nearly not quite, in, but, <laughs> but yeah, the shot on this one, I feel like, is something like a roadrunner. Heiser flip it, let it do its thing, and try to not really go straight at all on this drive. There's a handful of holes out here that kind of play like if you're going to hit this gap you might as well hit it with something going fast yes because there's just as much chance you're going to hit a tree with a mako or totally mid-range totally or whatever it may be you know yeah and on this hole the first two shots are so crucial to get as far up this hill as you can because on those first two shots, you can't even see the basket still. Yeah. So, yeah, getting distance on these first two is needed. Otherwise, the par is hard and the birdie's yeah. impossible. Pretty good kick back into the fairway for Holly. You really don't want to head right. Trying to shape her shot. <laughs> A little body English there. All right. Another standstill forehand. 
Oh. Seemed like that one came out a little early. It did. Um, yeah, not not what you want, but definitely got forward and didn't get that bad of a kick. So. That's Elisa's third. Getting all the way up there. Wow. Okay. So good. About 20 feet left for her par. Yeah, another one of those holes where really hard par, even harder birdie. You see those two big trees in the background. That is where the basket is, just past that first one. Yeah, Kristen's going to have a long look at... Par, about yeah. 25, 30 feet. Oh. That one was headed back in the right direction. Yeah, Holly and Michelle are finding a little trouble on this back nine. Um, there's definitely quite a few holes out here that you can't really be anything but perfect mm. on. Yeah. And if you're not, it, you're just going to see those bogeys. Totally. Holly, she likes to blow on her disc right there, get a little hot air. Get that thumb Little kiss. pressure right. I do the same thing. Ooh, that was a strong bid. Unfortunately, that goes downhill after the green. She's probably at circle's edge down there. Just outside yeah. the circle. It's a tough comeback, but definitely in Holly's range. Ooh, she nearly made both. Big par putt. Ooh. <laughs> Sneaks it in, but that's back par to back putt putts. nonetheless, yeah. Landing on the front rim, but they are good. See if Michelle can get this thing dialed. There nice. we go. Yeah, you really get no breaks on the green out here. Every single green, you're either looking straight downhill or straight uphill. Yeah. And you know a roll away is just right around the corner. And there's trees in the way. Yeah. Nice jam from Holly. Unfortunately, that'll be a double as a par putt for Lisa. Nice. Lisa's staying clean. Super That's exactly solid. what you want on the back nine. Yep. Holes 16, 17, 18 give these players no break headed down the stretch. Hole 15, par 4, 511 feet. This is actually my favorite hole on the course. Um, there's a clear fairway and there's treachery if you stay off of it. It's sloped the entire way, so the ground play is super crucial. Um, and there is actually OB on this hole, and it's that road you see at the end. Players looking to get left to right moving shots. Yeah, I think... Kristen may have missed her line. The line you want to hit is the biggest opening in the first group of trees, and you want a straight shot to kind of just fade on its own and come back to the sloping hill. There we go. Which is exactly what Lisa just did. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my god. That's gosh. exactly what you want. That was bombed. Picture perfect. Flex back out and everything. Oh. If she'd gotten just inside that tree, it would have landed somewhere around Lisa's. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a tricky drive because you want your disc to fade right, but you don't really want to turn it because of how that oh, yeah. ground is sloped down. 
Great ground play, though, for Holly. She's way up there, just behind Lisa. Mm. Well, kind of a glancing blow. Yeah, not the, not the worst kick ever. Definitely still got forward. There's all kinds of tree kicks. Not all tree kicks are the same. Yeah, and I would say the left side on this hole is a little more open and forgiving than the right side. Oh, okay, not bad. That shot was looking great. Forcing it over, letting it flatten back out. She should be up and down from there. Now yeah. Lisa. Yeah, and she's in the perfect position. All she has is a little straight shot. All she has to do is miss these trees, just Ooh. like how she did, and get the bird. Beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, easy putt for Michelle. That's a rarely used portion of the fairway up there, that high left. Yeah. Yes, that felt very stock. I think she's got that one dialed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Holly, for the three. Cash oh. money. What a great putt. Just to, we'll say it again. Her standstill power is unbelievable. That one was 50 feet out. Yeah, effortless too. To back it up. Nice. Oh yeah, that was two of the three birdies for the entire FPO field right there on our feature card. Love that, it's a great birdie. There we go. Great putt from Michelle. Yeah, we saw a couple hiccups on the green, but she's throwing them much more direct now, really dropping them in. Yeah, I love that because sometimes you don't shake those off and it just starts to go downhill. Yeah, we've seen it. Feature guard playing that hole two under par. We'll jump into a quick look at the leaderboard after 15 holes. Lisa and Kristen separating themselves a little bit. Yeah, they're they're on beast mode level right now. They clearly know how to play in the woods, and yeah, they're confident, strong, and their putts are going in, and that's really what you want out here. Good recipe. Headed into a par five with maybe more trees on it than any other hole on the course. Wraps around this hill to the left and has a precarious green way over here. Yeah, this hole is a doozy, to say the least. Um, <laughs> you really, I mean, depending on how aggressive you want to get on this hole, you really want to play closer to the right side of the fairway, even though it gets a little tighter with the trees, but only because of how severely it drops off on the left side. Yeah. Like any kick or any sliding shot down to the left side and you're down a hill sit right there okay yeah. got down to the ground full flight from holly finley boom pure hyzer yeah great shot unfortunate pinch on a tree we'll see what she has from there though might be another standstill forehand I think that Michelle's just got like three or four red drivers. Or maybe that's just her to hope, her go to. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> She's honestly, I was only throwing like one driver out here. Same. I feel that. Well, there. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're right. It's different. <laughs> so she has got at least it. two. <laughs> oh, Ooh, skinny. Oh. But well, nice kick. I know. Dead center middle. If you've got space to perform a throw on this hole you've really you've lucked out 
Yeah, and sidearm's definitely the play because it doesn't even bring that drop off into play. Just constantly moving right at the mm -hmm. end. Yeah, back to back forehands from Lisa. Yeah, and you can obviously tell, like, that's why Lisa and Kristen are playing so well out here. They have all the shots to get out of tricky situations. And if you yeah. don't have those shots, it's just really hard to score. Totally. Great recovery from Holly from down there on that left side. Okay. Big towering Anheuser flex shot from Boom, Kristen. Boom, that was great. A lot of distance. Totally. I feel like she's holding back a smile right there. She liked it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I know it was good. Clean shot for Michelle. Yeah. Trickles down oh, a little stop. bit. I hope that caught. We've seen a lot of full flight discs on this hole. Which, means which is rare on this hole. Straight up. Beautiful oh, really? shot. Oh my gosh. Forehand, forehand, standstill approach, tap in. Hmm. Lisa's on fire. She's on one. Going to get it to seven under par. Wow. Another great shot by Holly. So skinny. That's her look for birdie. Oh, my goodness. Wow. She just went through that gap. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. So, yeah, she definitely caught an edge and rolled down that hill. Unfortunate. This, our furthest look for birdie. Wow. Boom. Shell will tap in the par, but by the looks of it, Holly, Kristen, and Lisa. This is just textbook. This hole is so hard. It's so hard. They just made it look extremely easy. Chopping it down into 200-foot shots is kind of what Lisa did. Yeah. Easier said than done. A lot. Yeah, those were great birdies. Yeah. Great birdies. For sure. Hole 17, par 4, 496 feet. Um, you want to get through this gap right here with something on a hyzer flip. Um, and then you have this gap to the basket. And you don't want to throw it high because anything that's not hitting the ground before the basket is down that hill. Which is, again, the story of this course. But yep. Yep. once again... This one's really treacherous. This is moving a little too far left. Needs to stop. Yeah, oh and yeah, there's a huge drop off over there. You definitely don't want to be right or yeah. left. You saw her looking at the course map. Yeah. Trying to find out what's down there. A little overturned from Holly, but that was full flight. That's what you want out here. She'll have something into the green. This is perfect. Well, yeah. not quite, but great shot nonetheless. Laser down the fairway. It's only 496 feet, so her chances for birdie still there. Oh. Ooh, Michelle got skinny with this one, but definitely still got some distance down the fairway. <laughs> She's got a great attitude about all this. <laughs> yeah. This looks great. Oh, if this fades out. Yeah, I don't think she threw it far enough to get okay. to that drop off. Okay. But yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think Kristen missed her angle on that one. I'm sure she wanted to Annie yeah, that, that one yeah. a little more, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a baby Annie out of the mm -hmm. hand with that heart. 
awkward stance for Lisa. <laughs> yeah, and that's really all you have on the right or that left side. It's it's forehand roller or you're hitting a tree. She pulls the trigger so fast. Yeah, she does. Her feet were barely set. <laughs> Great shot by Holly. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's perfect. A, that's a dicey putt right there. I think yeah, it's I in mean, her range, but you, you could airball that yeah. one 100 feet down there, Maria. Yeah. The, you want that lie, but you also have to understand that you're going to have a death putt. Trying to get this one close. Yeah. Sit. Sit. Ooh. Oh my yeah. goodness. It's super fast. It gets away from you super quick. And there's also a breeze coming up right there that Stop. even lifts your disc just like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just a flick of the wrist. That's yeah, you down. want like nothing on this last little throw. No wrist action, no wind behind the disc. He just wanted to slide. Wow, Michelle's all the way down here, throwing a forehand approach back up. Great, great shot from her. Still had to hit a gap. Yeah. Okay. Great putt from Holly. That's a stab right there, girl. It's a statement. Nicely done from her. Grabbing her third birdie in a row. That's turkey. Worth noting. Yeah, and after a double. So that's super impressive. Got them all back. Mm-hmm. There were just three birdies on the field. Holly, Molly Moore, and Katie Tati. Great birdies. Really had to be close to the basket to even think about running that. For game. sure. The fun is not over yet, though. Maria, third hardest hole on the course is the finishing hole, hole 18. Really? Yep. It makes sense. It's super downhill and... I mean, you have to hit a perfect drive. You want something kind of slow because you don't want it to hyzer out, but you also cannot throw anything too flippy because you want it to stay straight. Um, and the upshot is really tricky too because you're going uphill, but you got to keep it low. There's low hanging branches, a bunch of trees in the way. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a grind to get the birdie or a par on this one. Yep. That uphill low ceiling combo is very tricky. This is a little high, but oh my Ooh. goodness. Oh. Wow. That thing was going another hundred feet. That was a great shot. <laughs> she said, did you see that? Oh, wow. this flexes a little bit. Okay, just a little overturned, I think, from... I'm so shocked at that shot choice, I but it, it makes sense. Yeah, because if it's going to come back, it's going to be perfect for mm. that second shot. It would follow, ideally, the middle of the fairway. Yeah. But... <laughs> oh, didn't look like Lisa got her directions out in time. <laughs> yeah, she, she coached her disc wrong and it listened. <laughs> it's all right, though does get a little hairy in those trees but there's a lot of gaps to get yourself up there for par it's looking a little high but so far so good okay got a bunch of flight check in a couple boxes okay you really have to get creative with the second shot on this there's a look at that yeah Wow. Beautiful. All the way back in position. She's inside 200 feet. Yeah, but look how far back she is for the birdie. Like, yeah. this hole's crazy. It's tricky. Okay. That's the gap right there. Perfect. Beautiful shot. 
Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and where Michelle landed, it's actually one of the more open parts of the hole. Um, it's a tricky little hyzer, but it's definitely a place you want to be in if you find yourself there. <laughs> I love Lisa. She's so animated when she yeah. plays and super excited not only for herself but for others on the card and it's just it it's a good time look how far down here holly got and she had more in the tank wow yeah she crushed that be a great birdie oh look at that line sit tight oh Ooh. my goodness wow she almost threw that in nice She's sitting at one under. She's got a birdie putt. Okay. Yeah, and this is a great shot to end her round with a par. Yeah. Look at this is looking, go in. Oh my gosh. She's oh, nuts it with away it. Too. Oh, she didn't deserve that. Oh. All day. She was honed in with those putter shots. I feel like anytime I've ever watched her on coverage, she's doing something cool like that. Yeah. It's so great to see. It's fun to come out to the northeast. And Ooh, Lisa wanted some of that too. Good shot from her. If she can tap that in, that'd be a six under round, matching the current world champ. Oh, sit. Okay. Yeah, a little loss of focus there for Holly. That's um, a tricky one to run, too. Yeah. yeah. There were people around, cameras. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure she was feeling it. Let's go. Beautiful putt to end her round. Fantastic part to get back in the clubhouse. You know, six overs, it's not what you wanted, I'm sure, but it's not terrible on this course. Things can go ugly so fast. I mean, we saw it. Yeah, and just takes one, one hole. Yeah. Um, And like I said, not a huge variety of separation, but yeah, if you just stay clean, you'll be moving up spots. No problem. Yep. Great par from Holly. First round removed from her world championship is a good one. Yeah, no bogeys on that back nine either. I think only one on the front. I think you're right. Yeah, hole nine. Really clean round. Same for Lisa. Can't wait to watch these ladies play again tomorrow. Quick yeah, look I'm in at the leaderboard. Your lead card for tomorrow will include Jessica Weiss in addition to the three ladies you saw today. And that chase card's a really good one too. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's Lukia, Rebecca, myself, and Katie. It's always a good time with them. And yeah, I think we're all gonna be gunning for that top card action. Not very often you get to play with Norwegians no, this is going to be... Estonians. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be great. Very cool nowadays. All the talent in the FPO field. Well, thank you guys for joining us. For Maria Oliva, I'm Luke Humphreys. Thanks for being here with us on the Disc Golf Network.